planned a visit to hill stations, right? Or you have already visited some of the most beautiful hill stations in our country. Some of them being Pahalgam in Jammu and Kashmir, Kershyang in Darjeeling, Dharamshala in Himachal Pradesh, and Uti in Tamil Nadu. So these beautiful hill stations are places where we go to spend a beautiful vacation and get rid of all the everyday hustle and bustle and move away from the day-to-day -day stress. We go there to relax ourselves. So when we pack our luggages for such hill stations, they are usually very heavy because along with other clothes and other things that we pack, we need to pack heavy woolen clothes. Now woolen clothes are what protects us from the low temperatures of these hill stations. So even if we forget to carry extra clothes, extra dry snacks or our favorite books, we cannot risk to not pack our woolen clothes because if we don't do that, we'll fall sick and the vacation will be wasted. So woolen clothes play a very important role when we are planning beautiful trips in such hill stations or during the winter season. Now, though we love to wear soft, brightly colored woolen clothes in winter season or while we are planning a trip to such hill stations, have you ever sat and thought whether from where do we get the wool that is woven to make these beautiful garments? Well, wool is what we get from sheep. So wool that is a natural fiber and is used to make different woolen garments is what we derive or extract from sheep. So sheep are reared in large quantities and then we extract wool from them. Now though many countries practice sheep rearing, Australia is known and famous for sheep rearing because of a particular reason. So the Australian breed of sheep that is the merino sheep provides us with the finest quality wool. And that is why Australia is famous for sheep rearing. Now Merino, as I mentioned, provides us with large quantities of the finest quality of wool in the world. Here is what the Merinos look like. Don't they look very fluffy and healthy? Well, do you think these Merinos were there in Australia from the very beginning? No, they were brought down in Australia after many, many years. So in the Middle Ages, it is believed that the Spaniards or the Spanish people started crossbreeding the Spanish ewes with the African rams. After that, we got this crossbreed of sheep called the Merino sheep. Now initially, the Spanish cornered the European market from wool. They did not want to export the Merino sheep that provided such good quality wool to the European markets. However, after many years, that is around 1700s, some Spanish merchants decided to provide some relatives of the European countries with these crossbreed. And eventually, the quest for Merino ships started. Now, after many years, eventually in Australia, these sheep were bred in large quantities and that is how Australia eventually became one of the largest producers of the Merino sheep. Now here we can see in this image that Mr. Young Marino is hiding in the room. He does not want to be seen like this where his magnificent white coat has been snatched away from him. Now the others or the elders in the room grin as they know what exactly has happened and they try to assure the young Marino that he need not worry of what has happened because the wool that has been extracted from his body will grow right back. So the process of removing the fleece from the sheep's body is known as shearing. So shearing is a process of removing the fleece and it is similar to getting a haircut. This is because the wool grows right back and so it is totally renewable natural fiber. So the wool actually grows back in some months. So it is a renewable natural fiber and this process of removing the fleece is called shearing. Now shearing is done by trained professionals or trained workers who are known as shearers.
now shearing is regarded as a specialized skill and each year in australia there are national competitions to find out the best shearer of the year now here we have a map that shows us some countries that are the major sheep producing countries in australia so the major sheep producing countries in australia are south australia tasmania victoria and new south wales now why do you think only the countries in the southern part of the continent are the major producers of sheep this is mainly because these countries have favorable conditions for the breeding of these ships they have a mild climate and the presence of a good variety of grasses that makes it an ideal location for the breeding of these ships as compared to the northern territories it is seen that they are much warmer and do not really fit well for the breeding of sheep because of the presence of tropic of capricorn that passes from the northern part of the continent so these are much hotter and do not really fit well for the breeding of sheep making the southern countries or the southeastern countries a more ideal location for the production of sheep now though sheep are reared and bred across the continent of australia for wool that is from the merino ship the southeastern countries particularly new south wales and victoria are countries where the sheep are bred particularly for meat so these special breeds of sheep that are used for meat production are leicester lincoln and romney marsh so leicester lincoln and romney marsh are the specified breeds of sheep that are bred in these countries that is new south wales and victoria for meat production now there are various products that we get from sheep rearing so the different products of sheep rearing includes the sheep skin the sheep skin provides us with good quality leather and this leather is then used for a lot of other purposes that is the making of various other products besides sheep skin we have lamb and mutton so lamb and mutton is the meat of the sheep now lamb refers to the meat of those sheep that are less than 1 year old while mutton refers to the meat of those sheep that are more than a year old now besides lamb and mutton we also get wool now wool is the primary product of sheep rearing wool as we know is a natural fiber and is used for the making of various garments and products and finally we also get wool wax or lanolin now what exactly is this well this is a wax that is used in many auto lubrication in motor oils and also in pharmaceutical and cosmetic industry so these are the different products that we get after sheep rearing now besides that the milk of the sheep is also of high value because the sheep's milk provides us with various dairy products and what are these dairy products we have yogurt made out of sheep milk butter and two of the best quality cheese that we get from sheep milk are ricotta and feta these two cheese types are in high demand across the globe and are used in various food items now sheep rearing in australia takes place in large extensive farms so we can see in these two pictures how huge the farms are and here are where the sheep are reared so they are given a large open area where they can easily graze the grasses so that they are fit and healthy and provide us with good quality products now these large farms that are used for sheep rearing are called sheep stations so we can see in these pictures how these large farms have been fenced all around so that the sheep can be kept together and they do not run away or they are not harmed by any other outside animal so these large extensive farms are called sheep stations where these sheep are reared and kept and these are well fenced 
So before we proceed with our lesson, could you help me answer this question? What are the farms used for sheep rearing known as? Are they known as rearing grounds or sheep fields or sheep stations? Well, the correct answer is sheep stations. So the large extensive farms where the sheep are red are called sheep stations. Now, for the good management of the sheep and these large extensive farms, they are further divided into smaller sections. So each station is divided into smaller enclosed fields to confine the animals and these are called paddocks. So we can see here in these images how the sheep stations have been divided into smaller sections or smaller enclosed fields and these are known as paddocks. Now many parts of Australia, particularly those large extensive farms where the sheep are red, they provide the sheep with good quality grasses. These grasses, particularly alfalfa grass, is used to feed these sheep so that they are healthy and fit. So many parts of Australia provide good grazing grounds for sheep rearing and they support a variety of grasses, particularly the alfalfa grass. Now each paddock that is created can contain about more than 3000 sheep. So a paddock may hold up to 3,000 sheep. Now once that paddock has been used or has been grazed well by the sheep, they are sent to another paddock or they are shifted to another paddock so that the paddock that has been grazed well is given the time for the regrowth of the grasses. So from each paddock that can hold up to 3,000 sheep, when the grass and water becomes scarce, they are moved to or shifted to another paddock. Sheep farms are run by families while other workers are employed too. Sheep rearing is mostly done during early summer and spring that is in September, October and November when the wool of the sheep is thickest. Sheep rearing is usually done using electrical clippers and then they are clean sorted and pressed into bales before sending to wool industry. Now there are trained workers who look after the sheep in the farms and also look after other requirements of the farms. That is, they repair the fences and gates of the farms and do other works like cleaning and grooming. So these trained workers have a special name too. So the male trained workers who looks after the farm and the sheep are called Jakarus while the female workers who does the same thing are called Jilarus. So these are the trained workers that take care of the sheep and farms and they usually live within these sheep stations where they are provided with a housing, electricity and water. Now to keep a track of the sheep, there are dingoes that are kept by these trained workers or farmers. So they take the help of dingoes to keep track of the sheep. We can see how these Australian wild dogs that are dingoes are used to keep a track of the sheep in the farms. Now Australia with such huge production of sheep and with the different types of products that the sheep provide us with, it makes the country one of the leading global producers of wool and it also makes it world's largest wool exporting nation producing up to 39% of the global wool exports. So the total amount of wool that is exported in the world out of that 39% comes from Australia and it is one of the largest wool export nations. So Australia definitely holds a strong position in the wool industry and with regards to the sheep rearing industry that is across the globe. Now besides being the largest wool export nation providing with the finest quality wool in the world, it is also the second largest producer of lamb and mutton after China and a major exporter of the same. So after China that 
tops the list in lamb and mutton production, we have Australia as the second largest producer of lamb and mutton and one of the major exporters of the same. It brings in foreign exchange, thus adequately adding to nation's economy or nation's wealth. So not only the wool industry of Australia, but also the meat production industry of Australia is doing very well and contributing adequately to the country's economy. Now, since the wool industry and meat industry of Australia holds such an important position in defining or influencing the economy of the nation, it definitely provides opportunities for employment to a large number of Australians. So, sheep farming in Australia employs large number of people and it is also one of the most profitable enterprises that the nation holds. So there are a large number of Australians that depend highly on these sheep farming or the wool and meat industries and this generates employment opportunities providing a good livelihood to most of the Australians. Now besides being a major producer and exporter of both wool and meat, the nation is also known for one of the largest consumption of meat in the world. So in this lesson, we were able to understand that sheep rearing is one of the primary economic activities of the country of Australia. Australia is famous for its wool and meat because it has the merino sheep that provides with the finest quality of wool in the world and they are bred in large quantities in the country. So Australia is one of the largest producers and exporters of wool. Along with that, they are also the second largest producer of lamb and mutton after China. So the wool and meat industry of Australia is definitely contributing a lot to providing opportunities of employment to a large number of Australians and also helping the country to maintain its position as one of the largest producers of wool in the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one-to-one -one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5,000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like PlayStations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.